What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales and Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise. And this is going to be really one of those somber, sad moments as uh, officially, as far as we know, we're saying goodbye to a CX-50. Uh, you've seen the article published, or actually a couple of articles published by Car Buzz. As long as we waited for this vehicle and as exciting and excited uh, as a vehicle it was and excited we were to have it finally, um, there was a, a CX-50 Turbo Premium Plus uh, here in the south that... Uh, was in a, a pretty substantial accident. And we're gonna jump into the photos in just a minute and uh, just hope everybody was okay. As you see this damage in just a minute, you'll know that it was a pretty serious accident. So uh, we'll jump in in just a moment. Carbuzz uh, saw this vehicle listed on Copart, which is a, a salvage auction, and uh, actually this vehicle was listed for a couple of weeks and um, sold uh, Wednesday the 25th uh, was when that official auction came to an end. There was some pre-bidding, which uh, actually uh, did not quite touch $1,000, uh, but I'm sure in the last 12 hours from when I checked it, it uh, did increase as we'll uh, cover some of the uh, damage and some of the possible parts that will be available. Let's jump into the uh, pictures here now of this damaged CX-50. As you can see, it is a polymetal gray and starting out here on the front, the uh, front bumper is pretty uh, well damaged. And you can see the hood is buckled as well from that impact. And from what we suppose here, it was a pretty substantial rear impact and uh, push it into another vehicle or object in front. Uh, here's a look from the other side, and you can see it was pretty large hit there on the passenger side. And uh, just with that radar and everything being down there at the bottom, as we zoom in a little bit, everything's pretty much damaged, probably pushed back into the radiator. And of course, as it buckled uh, up, probably got some of the uh, unibody there on the front fenders and buckled the hood there. Here is a look at the rear. Now you can see the driver's side was uh, took most of the force there and flattened it out. Surprising that the rear glass didn't uh, crack or doesn't seem to be any damage, but you can see uh, from those wide shoulders there and the first tease of the uh, that was released back in November, there's uh, some major damage and uh, dents knocked the uh, cladding off and even up to the doors. The doors aren't shutting there. And uh, then of course underneath with the uh, muffler there and the exhaust system. From the driver's side, you can see that the cladding was busted and cracked and some exhaust material behind the wheel there, behind the tire, and the fuel door kind of tells, tells it all. It, it won't shut, uh, everything's damaged Again, this is just a, a serious collision. I don't think this vehicle itself can be repaired without replacing the, the rear half there. And then a lot of the uh, insides up front, probably the radiator, and of course, front bumper hood. Uh, so this was definitely just salvaged for parts. Here's a look at the inside and you can see that uh, the front airbag did deploy. Don't see any of the side airbags, but it was a uh, good enough uh, force to deploy the front airbag. And as we scroll here to another look at the back seat, looks like perhaps the recline failed and uh, the, the rear impact just broke loose that seat is what it appears to be. Uh, but also it could just be that the driver lowered it all the way to get out. Here's one under the hood and you can see that there's a few... Um, from the damage there, they've obviously removed some things to take a peek. Looks like the engine may be intact. You know, a lot of reusable parts here, the turbo, all the uh, computer components there, but I, I do bet that the radiator is probably damaged underneath. This was in South Florida and uh, where it was auctioned off as well uh, was actually purchased on the uh, 2nd of April and hope that uh, everything's well. I really hope that this individual kit was able to replace it or will be replacing it. It just 
um, month and a half really of age was one of the early ones. I'm sure it was pre-ordered. This is one of the first ones to land there in South Florida and uh, sad to see it go. It was just a matter of time. Uh, but uh, again, biggest concern is that I hope everybody was okay in this uh, collision. Thankfully, Mazda has a safety reputation. Although we haven't had test results yet on the CX-50, looks like everything was uh, did, it, did its job and, and stayed intact for the most part. Um, not sure about the seat recline, but a force of this nature to buckle that uh, rear uh, that way was a pretty, pretty, pretty strong hit. Uh, again, just hope everybody was safe. And if you have any questions or comments about the CX-50, not specifically this CX-50, because this is all the information I have, but just wanted to get it out there and um, show you uh, that, uh, you know, the, the composition and the, the safety of the sky active chassis was intact there and um, just an unfortunate situation for the uh, owner and driver here to lose uh, a brand new vehicle any more questions or comments drop them down below and i will be here on the boulevard and i'll see you on the next one